Hello everyone and welcome to my vitamin D walk talk. Today I am getting 45 IUs a minute. It's like 71 degrees and sunny. It's amazing. Don't mind this jackhammer that's going to be going as I walk by it. But anyways, I haven't been on here for a while. I wanted to pop on and give you guys an update because I've got some great things happening in my life and I wanted to give you an update. So I had my fruit luck. The fruit luck that I planned for six weeks that I had to buy, get a spot, put money down for a park. I think all in all, I spent like $600 of my own money. I had a lot of learnings. Definitely don't need to spend that much money next time. Definitely need to go to a free park next time. But I had about 16 people come out to the fruit luck and a lot of them were vegans. I was literally intentionally calling in vegans. Like my message out there was to literally call in vegans and I got them, you guys. I made some friends as well. So exciting because the whole purpose of me doing this was to meet friends. And I met a girl that I just cl clicked with completely. She said she knew about this fruit luck. She had it on her calendar. She wanted to meet me. And the whole reason she came out there was like, I wanted to meet you. I wanted to meet you. So we went hiking yesterday, hung out. She's great, we're gonna be friends for a while. I'm so excited that I met another, she's 100% raw. So another raw vegan, you guys. Like, ah, it's so cool to have people. But yeah, the Fruit Look, the Fruit Look was incredible. Just having the people that you guys share a common interest of food, a lot of the same like things and restaurants and like a lot of the same issues that we that I have, they have too, and they've been through it as well. A lot of the people had been vegan for a little bit longer than me, so it was so cool to connect with these people that are living a similar life to you because not a lot of people live that way, you know? And um, the whole purpose of this was to meet the friends and call those people in and I found them, so it was so cool. But the beginning of this month, I have talked about it a little bit, that I was really wanting to go to Woodstock Fruit Festival. And it was expensive. It was uh, like, I think it's like $1,500 for the week long. It's basically seven days, you stay in a cabin. It's unlimited fruit, so you can eat as much fruit as you want. But it was expensive. So it was kind of like, all right, all right universe, show me. If this is right for me to go to, and I'm supposed to be there, tell me that I'm supposed to be there. So I literally have just been waiting, watching the universe, watching for signs, waiting, okay, am I, am I meant to go to this? And I kept getting pushed. I kept getting just feeling like I need to be here. I need to be at Woodstock. I, I need to go and be around these people. It's basically the fruit luck that I did on a way larger scale. So there's like 400 people there and it's seven days. Seven days of networking and talking to people that are on your level, like, oh my God, the feeling that I got at the fruit luck of just connecting and having that oneness with these people, like, I can do that for seven days. So it was incredible. And so at my fruit luck, I'm telling these people, I'm like, yeah, like, have you ever been to Woodstock? I want to go to Woodstock. I want to go to the fruit festival. And no one had really gone. Everyone's like, oh, that sounds cool. Like, oh, blah, blah. The last person that walked up was wearing a Woodstock Fruit Festival shirt. And I'm just like, holy crap. Like he had gone for his first year last year and he told me all about it. Kind of gave me the lowdown of what I need to do for traveling, this and that. But I'm just like, that's my sign. Like there, there's a big sign right there. Like I'm talking about it all day. And the last person that walks up an hour before my fruit festival is over is wearing that shirt. You guys like, boom. So like, the universe just kept pushing me and pushing me. And I'm like, you know what? I have to go. I have to be there. I have to make this work. And I don't travel. Like the last time that I flew across the country, like, oh God, <laughs> like, oh man, I don't even know. I haven't left um, the West Coast in like 10, 15 years, probably longer than that. So I'm traveling all the way to New York. I have to go out there by myself. Um, hopefully I can find someone to travel with, but I'm excited, you guys. So I bought my ticket. I bought my ticket to go to Woodstock Fruit Festival. It is my first year. I'm so excited, but now I have to figure out the traveling stuff. And I'm watching the flights right now because apparently they're gonna go down a little bit, but I do have to figure out this travel arrangements. So that's next, but I have credit card miles. So the, the flight's taken care of you guys. So I'm just like, this is amazing. Like it, it happens, I just kept, like not really meditating on it, but more manifesting it in my head is like, okay, show me, tell me, do I need to go to this? Do I need to stay here? And there was a lot of big things that happened this month that I was like, if this happens, I can't go. If this happens, I can't go. And those things didn't happen. They literally seamlessly fell through, didn't have these big expenses like I thought it was gonna have. And I was like, all right, everything's lining up. And then just seeing that guy in that fruit festival shirt, you guys, pff, done. Like. The universe told me I need to go and I'm gonna listen. 
because they have a singles night that night. They have tons of people. I hope to meet a ton of new friends. People they follow on Instagram are gonna be there that I've watched for so long. They've been doing this fruit stuff for a long time. So I am really excited, you guys. Ah, I'm very happy to be in the sun today. I am helping onboard a new employee. Apparently I'm gonna be taking on the onboarding tasks of all our new construction people and kind of going through like, yay Pulte stuff all day. So I'm learning how to do that today and I've been sitting in meetings all day, but I also have a pile of work stacking up that I'm not getting to. So it's one of those days I decided to take some time, walk outside, cause you know, we're not doing brain surgery, you guys. It can be fixed, it can be done at some point. <laughs> it's fine. So I wanted to get out, get some air, get some sun. The guys that are training went to go to Chili's and I said, no, I would rather go for a walk. <laughs> So here I am, but yes, very excited that everything lined up. I had a very nice day yesterday with my raw vegan friend. We went hiking and I think that's kind of brought the energy in. I got a lot of vitamin D. The sun feels great today. Yes. So you guys, if you ever have an issue that you're like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Meditate on it, manifest it, think about it. Just literally focus on it and just have the universe guide you like the universe will guide you it might not be where you want to go so you have to be prepared for that but the universe will guide you you guys trust in it all right take care you guys